there's a characteristics of Kajanga coma. If you saw the kid after birth, they would have like what watery eyes or this cow eye look. Well, there's a number of symptoms you could have in glaucoma, but there's also an appearance you could have in congen congenital glaucoma. These children usually have very large eyes and corneas because the pressure in the eye actually causes the immature eye to expand and get large. It's called a cow's eye or bophthalmus. Um, those children, although they might appear cute, um, they're usually uh, in danger of losing their vision. They also have if, the, if it's allowed to go on, uh, steamy looking corneas and very sensitive to light and could be very grouchy. You might think that they're ill in other ways, but they're actually sensitive to light called photophobia and that causes a lot of pain and distress. So if a child had it, how was it treated? Well, children with glaucoma, initially when you first see them, you're going to want to put them on something to lower the pressure as soon as possible, but they usually require surgery. to. Re what to do they use initially? Um, they could use any topical medication uh, that would lower the pressure. There's, there's different types. There's beta blockers and different types of, of um, topical um, medications. And uh, some of these medications can be used initially, but they usually have to be brought to surgery quick, quickly. So they're temporary, but they're not the answer. Right. They're not the answer, no. And if you can get the kid early enough and operate early enough, the prognosis is really good? Yeah, yes, the pro well, I shouldn't say that because the prognosis at that point is good, but they're always in danger of having problems in multiple surgeries. Um, first of all, the enlarged eyes can cause damage to the cornea. Uh, they can become steamy, and that can cause a, that, that in inability to see through the cornea can make them lose vision. Also, because the eye expands so large because of the increased pressure, they can also develop increased amounts of um, myopia or nearsightedness. These children usually have to wear glasses. Sometimes one eye will expand faster than the other because it's often, often asymmetric. And those children can develop a lazy eye or decreased vision in one eye, or it's called amblyopia, because of the imbalance in the prescriptions.